One week after Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 was shot down, the process of recovering and identifying the victims continues. So does the process of identifying those responsible for the killings. Craig Boswell has the latest from Washington, D.C. A Dutch Honor Guard received more victims of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 on Thursday. As the identification process gets underway, the search continues at the wreckage site in eastern Ukraine for more remains. As many as 100 bodies could still be lying among the debris. Possibly if some people, uh, no remains will be found. The Red Cross arrived at the site Thursday. They plan a methodical search. Many observers say the pro-Russian rebels controlling the area did the initial collection of the bodies in a haphazard way. The contamination of the evidence and the disrespect shown to the bodies was too much. Australia wants to send international police officers to help secure the site and ensure a full investigation. The Obama administration says all signs point to Russia for supplying the missiles to the rebels who took down the airliner, and the flow of weapons continues. We have new evidence uh, that the Russians intend to deliver heavier and more powerful multiple rocket launchers to the separatist forces in Ukraine. U.S. intelligence sources say Russia is also firing artillery on Ukrainian military forces as they battle the pro-Russian separatists near where Flight 17 was shot down. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Washington. Now, the pro-Russian separatist rebels also deny shooting down the Malaysia Airlines flight, but they do take credit for shooting down a Ukrainian fighter jet yesterday. I'll stay with Local 12 News, Local12.com, and CBS News for continuing coverage of the situation into the downing of Flight 17.